Before you begin using the pump, you will need to be sure that it is fully charged or connected to a power supply. Plug the power adapter into the power adapter port located on the left side of the pump. Plug the other two-prong end of the power adapter into a nearby AC outlet. Check to see that the AC indicator light is on to confirm that the pump is receiving power from the wall outlet. Be sure to charge the pump for a minimum of seven hours before initial use. The Kangaroo Connect Enteral Feeding Pump can be attached to a vertical pole using the pole clamp included with the pump. Tighten the knob so the pump does not slide down the pole. The plastic retention plate is designed to be rotated in 90 degree increments to allow attachment to a horizontal tabletop surface or a horizontal bed rail. Rotate the latch plate connector to look like an upside down letter U. Match the U on the back of the pump with the pole clamp latch plate and slide the pump down until it has been properly seated. To remove the pump, gently pull upward on the pump until it pops upward off the latch plate. Preparing to feed. Hang the prepared feeding set bag or fluid container so the starting volume of fluid is 10 inches above the top of the pump as shown. Press the power button centered below the pump screen to power up the pump. If you have used the pump previously, your last settings were automatically retained for you. Press Keep Settings to keep the settings from the last feeding. Otherwise, press Clear Settings. Next, you will see the Load Set screen. Follow the animated instructions on the screen, sliding the bottom pegs of the cassette up into the slots, then locking the top into place. The set loaded screen will confirm that the pump has correctly identified the feeding set. You are now ready to prime the feeding set. Press the Prime button to continue. Note the warning on the screen. Select Auto Prime to automatically prime the feeding set. The pump will show an animated timing sequence indicating the prime is in process. Wait for the priming to complete. Once the Auto Prime is complete, the feeding solution will stop short of the feeding set connector. To top off the tubing, press and hold the Hold to Prime button until prime is complete. To continue with pump setup, press Done. If desired, Hold to Prime can be used instead for a manual prime. Press and hold the Hold to Prime button to begin the manual prime. Press Done when complete.